much is going on. She may be the most powerful woman in professional sports. She is responsible for such names as Venus and Serena Williams, Maria Sharapova, and Dinara Safina. Now in her new role as CEO of the Women's Tennis Association, Stacey Allister is looking to expand the WTA's presence in Asia, India, and Brazil. Our Vera Gibbons is at the U.S. Open as joined by Ms. Allister. Vera. Hi there, Carol. Yeah, we are here live with Stacey Allister, who was nice enough to join us. Thank you for coming Thank over. Thank you for having us. You found us. You're from, obviously, the, the WTA chairman and CEO. So let's first of all talk about the big Sony Ericsson deal, uh, the global sponsor for the WTA tour, an $88 million deal. Huge. The deal is coming up, though, and phones aren't, sales aren't doing so well there. Women's landscape has changed. What uh, are you concerned that might not renew? Well, we've had Sony Ericsson uh, for five years. We've got <clears throat> uh, one more year with them. Uh, what we do know is they've enjoyed the sponsorship, and it's really worked well for their business. Uh, and we're hopeful uh, that when we get into the discussions, that uh, as through their transformation of the, their business, their products, their new branding that they just launched, all to be in digital and viral and content, we're a content provider, mm -hmm. a very cool content provider. So I think we're, we've got a great alignment and uh, pretty optimistic. Does the WTA tour need this deal, or you have other sources of, of income as well? Well, you always need a sponsor. <laughs> title sponsor. That's I a big think. one, That's too. That's a big one. Yeah. Uh, but we are fortunate that we do have diversified revenues. When Sony Ericsson first came on, we weren't in that position, uh, but we now have long-term television agreements, championship agreements, and uh, we've got a pretty healthy set of reserves so that if we have to have a little little downturn to uh, to then go to the next wave of growth. We're well positioned uh, to work through so this. So you're diversified. Exactly. Now, what is going on with the state of women's tennis? Because we keep hearing, oh, there's no great rivalry like we've seen in years past with yeah. Steffi Graf, Monica Seles, Martina Navratilova, Chris Everett. You don't have the rivalry like you do in the men's. Um, does that matter? <laughs> oh, fans always want what they don't have. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what I know, we have the best be female athletes in the world, and we have depth. And what does depth do? It doesn't give us that dominance. But, you know, Serena and Venus, still, 10 years into this, are still two of the best athletes in the world. And they're certainly and, drawing quite a crowd and, here. And, you know, they're a rivalry unto themselves. Mm -hmm. But because they're sisters, we don't, we don't get our arms around that for some reason. And then we've got the Russians. A lot of Russians. A lot of Russians. We've got Maria, who's making her, her comeback. Kim Kleisters, who's coming back. And we got some hot young ones, you know, Carolina uh, Wozniacki, Victoria Azarenka. So they're the future. So the storybook is the dominance of Venus and Serena, the Russian dominance, and the comeback girls, and the rising stars. 128 women players and 14 are Russians, and something like four to the top, yeah, or in the top 10, it's amazing. It's amazing, and uh, just shows you what confidence does, you know, really, from the days of Kornikova, and she's springboard. They all begin to believe that they can win. Mm -hmm. And then Maria comes on, and then the next group comes on, and they work hard. And the prize money's gone up. If you comment about that briefly well, before we send it how lucky to... are we in this economy... <laughs> That's amazing. ...that our athletes received a 34% increase in prize money. Women's tennis went from that level to that kind of increase in 2009. Women tennis rules. Stacey <laughs> Allister, thank you for joining us. Carol, we'll send it back to you. All right, Vera, thank you so much.